afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to 2023-2024 Public Land Diaries. Really excited about this season. Uh, last season just uh, what a dream of a season it was out here on this public land and uh, definitely a grind as always but last year ended with a real exclamation point. Not really ended it with it but definitely one for the record books and uh, I don't know if I'll ever top last season out here but definitely going to be trying again and there's definitely a lot more spots I want to try hunting. The success last season was uh, a culmination of just pretty much my entire hunting career uh, getting these deer down out on this property and it's October 13th it's actually my second time coming out to this public land and I got out here opening morning which was the 7th and it was pouring rain real cruddy weather but I uh, definitely got some scouting in and uh, one of the spots that I've had on my radar for the past couple years and had some good bucks showing up on them on cameras uh, had a few really fresh scrapes and definitely had some deer activity out there so plan for this afternoon is to get out there hike way up into that mountain sit my spot up there and hope that these bucks are coming through to check these scrapes we've had a really awesome weather this October and so far this season it's been cool but it's warmed up a little bit today we're at uh, mid 60s now it's about one o'clock and I should be getting to the spot any minute now and I'm gonna be packing up and hiking up in there and spending the afternoon out in that spot don't really have any cameras out there yet I'm gonna be taking one out there with me just to keep an eye out in that spot but the winds perfect it's gonna be cooling off and there's not a lot of hunters out there this time of year so I'm hoping to get lucky hoping to get my eyes on some deer and hoping to pick up where I left off last season like I said awesome awesome season last year out on this public land and really excited to get back out there all together um, no real huge expectations for this season as always I'm gonna keep them low but still think I can get it done and just gonna be getting out here as much as I can and seeing what I can find out and seeing what kind of deer I can get on because there's definitely some nice ones out here uh, Saturday morning when I got out it was early about three o'clock but uh, I saw a really nice buck off the road near public and it's just kind of like a, a nice little surprise and uh, a good gauge on what kind of deer I can expect to see out there so again I'm, I'm almost there should be pulling up any minute I'm gonna be getting my stuff together and hiking on in there and I'll see you guys from the tree stand well here we are folks it's just after three o'clock it's super quiet out here but we still got a perfect wind Seems like I got up into here without spooking anything, which is awesome. And I saw a lot of good bucks out coming in. This particular spot, I hunted last year as well, once I think. But there was just no deer sign and decided to just leave it sit for a year. And coming back now, there's definitely bucks in here, without a doubt. Scrape like 15 yards away from me, that is hammered. Another one just below me. And there's rubs all over the place. There's really awesome looking sign. I'm really targeting these spots early season that have a lot of uh, oaks on them. There's a lot of acorns that are down. I hear them dropping as I speak. I'm not one for the uh, loud whisper, but it's just so quiet and I know I'm close to where they're bedding, so hoping that they're in this spot. It's definitely looking like it. 
this spot has produced sightings before, which is rare, and on this public land it's been hard to find deer. But about three, two, three seasons ago, I had a, a really nice four point, big four corn buck that I passed here. So hopefully, hopefully whatever deer I see this evening, do the same thing as that deer did. Excited about this set. I'm gonna enjoy the beautiful weather we have and hope they're moving good. Fingers crossed, guys. It's uh, after legal hunting now. It's been a real quiet last hour. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> well, uh, well, uh, it's after legal hunting time now, and it's been a real quiet last hour. Lots of wildlife around this afternoon and evening, but no oh deer. It was cool to see those gobblers walk through here. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be back out here in the springtime to chase them, but I'm gonna pack out, get on out of here. It's a long hike out of here, so I don't know when I'll be back out on public again. Probably when the weather changes again uh, early next week, we'll see. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you from the woods next time.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. It's episode two, Public Land Diaries. Still getting after them out here. I'm in a, I'm headed to a new spot that I haven't hunted yet. And if you guys go way back into my private land throwback videos, I actually introed from this spot I'm going to. And that was the morning that my dad and I and my brother found this spot. It's an old clear cut. There's a logging road on the far side of it. And I was in there during turkey season. There was a ton of deer sign in there. Came back over the summer and scouted it again. Deer sign was still there. I actually jumped a doe and a pretty nice eight point in velvet out of there. That was back in July. So, headed in there this afternoon. It's October the 19th. Just about 2.15. Should be, should be to the spot of a 15 minute walk. It's not too far. And I got a heavy pack. I get in with the stand. All my camera stuff. Looking to get it done out here again this season. I uh, left a camera out here when uh, when I was out here in July. So it's been soaking since then. Curious to see what's been showing up on there. Hopefully there's not any hunter sign. Because it's not too far from the trail. But it's kind of tucked back in there. We got a nice south wind this afternoon. It should be blowing our scent back up the logging trail. Hoping these deer are bedded out on a point. Working back into the uh, clear cut to feed. There's some oaks towards the uh, west of us. It should be dropping, but we'll see. Like I said, about 15 minutes and I'll be to the spot. And I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, folks. All settled in here. As usual, I broke a sweat, but... No big deal. This is a, a spot that's kind of easy to access. Meaning that I could take the logging road all the way down, but it's still over a mile in. And it looks like good deer habitat in here. Just hope it translates to seeing deer. I met up with my dad. He, uh, he got here just before me and I caught up with him. He's off to my west on the other end of this point. Not too far away, so hopefully one of us gets eyes on deer tonight. I have a camera out here, but I forgot the uh, the reader to to look at the images, so that'll have to wait until later tonight. But we'll see what's moving through here this evening, and hopefully it's a good-sized buck. And I don't know. Gonna stay on my toes. It's about 3:15, and I've got plenty of time to hunt. So keep my eyes peeled and see what's moving through here. Just about out of camera light. Total bust. No deer. Really takes a toll on ya. But I gotta start packing down and get on out of here. I'll uh, check that card from this camera and see what we got going on here. And who knows, maybe I'll be back here. Maybe I won't. Either way, appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you next time.